Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's bring it back. Bringing it back. Mm. Hopefully you all have enjoyed your day. Enjoyed your week. Thursdays are the new Fridays. I'm kicking back, enjoying myself with a nice Pacifico Clara Cerveza. La Cerveza del Pacifico. Mm. So, as the gropers flop and the floppers grope, I sit here, find myself sitting here, staring at this chart, absorbing it, meditating. <clears throat> That's for you people. And here's kind of just my assessment. And so here's, I think, kind of where we are at in this time right now. So super mixed signals. You don't need to be a genius to know that. Um, who knows where it could go? In this sense, super unpredictable. 50-50, <clears throat> 50-up, 50-down, 50-turn the other side around. So let's dissect the first part, which is this right here. So people are saying, is it a wedge? Is it a triangle? Is it a rectangle? As far as the pattern, we could see a little head and shoulder formation, head and shoulder, or is it just a triple top? Both um, are, are would, would be bearish, bearish patterns. But there's also another angle that I see. And obviously, either way, the way we, this is a pattern, obviously, that we want to see where it breaks um, before we would make a play on it, if we're going to make a play on it. But there's something coming to me. There's something coming to me. And I want to show you guys what that is. If you were with this channel, if you've been with us for, oh, I'm going to say a month and a half, two months. About a month and a half, I believe, ago, two months ago, there was a pattern that we pegged, which uh, was is like a head and shoulders where the last shoulder is kind of long here hang on it goes like this maybe a little bump and then there's like a curved shoulder to the right and then it pumps up and so it's actually a bullish head and shoulder type of formation and i know this looks absolutely terrible if you were with us two months ago you 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 know what i'm talking about I might even have it saved somewhere, but again, it's a head and shoulders, but the right shoulder curves up and then it chills for a sec and then it's blast off. And we actually made a killer call on it. The reason why you will remember is because we traded off it and made a killer trade. We longed it. And so I see almost a potential inverse. pattern and it would go a little something like this right and then it curves and then we go down like this and then come down to a move uh, like a good heavy move down now i know what some of you are gonna say you're just a short boy mars boy and I have always like to think of myself as B9. I just like sticking with the trends. I find it. Um, I, I don't think I'm bearish when there is a heavy comet shooting star trend going down. And, um, you know, it's, it's hard for me to want along when that's happening. So if we break to the downside, here's my point. We're either going to we're, we're going to do one thing or the other. We're going to go up here and break up or down 
right? Maybe we hit the triple top and then come down to form this inverted right elongated shoulder. If this happens, if we go down, touch the 4K, right? This is about $60-70 ahead of BitMEX. So this shows 4090 on BitMEX. This is like 4010. If we go back down to 4000, then come back up, we might be looking to enter a nice short entry right here. So that is what I'm getting. Although without all this garbage, if we just ignore all that, none of that comes true. We can always just wait and see um, if this turns into, you know, a, a, a triple top type, or if it's a if it's a rectangle, right? We've seen we've liked a lot of rectangles, although they've been a little funky. Lately, sometimes the rectangle, I'll tell you what the rectangles have been doing lately, is they have not been continuing. They discontinue the trend and then continue the trend. So standard technical analysis, when there's a rectangle, it's a continuation pattern. You go in, you go out. And we've had success with those, I would say about three to six, from the window of three months ago, two and a half months ago to like a six, Six months ago, rectangles have been continuing with Bitcoin. But as of late, I would say with the past two and a half, past three months, we've been going into the rectangle, exiting opposite, and then psh, continuing the trend. And that's Chinese TA for you. That's, that's, it's like standard TA, but you add, add a little switch in it somewhere. And it shakes everybody up. So right now, I'm not in any positions. There have been some golden opportunities, really great opportunities as far as scalping with the Bollinger Bands. You know, shorten this. If you're, if you're, if there's a trade to make, you know, um, um, it's it's obviously probably shorting these this top trend. I mean, we've been rejected, rejected. If we reject it again, right, we start going down a little bit. Could certainly enter a short, and then take your money and run after the price moves a hundred, you know, hundred fifty or fifty. 50 to 150 bucks no matter what if if this does turn into a short if it does go down and we do enter here we're going to take our money and run and i would say that's the that's the lesson of the week take your profits when you see the green bird in hand better than two in the bush take it and feed your family. Buy that new house you've been wanting to buy. Buy that new car. Just kidding. Now, you know, I was thinking about my last video um, and how I was like, you know, when it comes to the end of the triangle, we want to wait to see what happens before to end it, which is true. But I was also thinking to kind of juxtapose that you know, a lot of you, people have jobs, people work, they're not able to sit and monitor a trade. Um, so I guess you could say in my defense, you know, we were looking, we, we, were, we were looking to make a play. You know, people going about their day. So I don't know, that was just a thought in my mind. So we'll see. It's not looking like a real triangle right now unless we, unless we attach something like this, unless we hitch right there. You know, and this this ain't working. Unless this is a new channel, this could just be a new channel. I don't really foresee this happening, but it's a possibility where we're just elongated. We're elongated up here. That is certainly a possibility. A lot of possibilities. I feel like your average TA person right now that doesn't give you an answer, just runs around in circles. But that's the truth. That is the truth in this current situation. So we're going to look for a couple. We're going to let time go by. We're not rushing anything. Until then, we'll see. We'll see. We got our pen and paper in our pattern book. Write down, draw your patterns, put them in a folder, put them in a safe and save them. Make a collage of all the patterns you've seen before. And they certainly, 
they will come again. They will come again.